All right, we're going to talk about 11 and 12. Um, page 11 talks about some of the properties, the axioms of matrices for multiplication. And they point out, they just show an example here showing that for multiplication, actually, it's not the same. Now, in, in normal algebra, if we took like 3 times, let's say, 5, we would get 15. I could switch the order and get 5 times 3, still 15, okay? But with matrices, if you switch the places of the matrices, you get a totally different matrix answer. So they demonstrate that two different ways here, and you can see what they're doing and see that, aha, that is not the same, so the answer is not, you cannot switch them around. But then they just make the statement that with associative property, you can change the order that you're multiplying them. Not change the order, but change which ones you do first, you know, do X times Y and then take that answer times Z. Or you can do YZ first and then do X times the answer to YZ and you'll get the same answer. Now they don't illustrate it here. And then same with distributive property, they have an identity property down here at the bottom. So um, there is, it says, of the same dimensions with left to right diagonal entries of one and all the rest entries of zero. Now I saw this, um, they only show one example of that, but if we were doing times three, okay, if we had three, then it'd be like one, 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 and then all the rest would have to be zeros. So a diagonal of ones, the rest zeros, and whatever you take out here times this, you would get the same thing that you started with. Okay? So that's called the identity axiom. <clears throat> and then they have the zero axiom. Now, what they're going to do, if you look here at page 12, is they give you some examples up here, some two by two matrices that you're going to use, and then they want you to illustrate um, that x times zero, for instance, so zero, 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 would equal zero, anything times zero equals zero. They want you to illustrate that multiplying x times z is not going to give you the same answer as z times x. So you're going to look up here and take x and z and multiply them together, and then take z times x, multiply them together, see what your two answers are, and they should not be equal. All right? And then here illustrate that x <coughs> times identity times this one should equal this one back again. So you're just proving it. So I don't, I don't need to illustrate this, okay? You just, just do it in the space below here. I'm not sure what the line is for. I would have to do it down below the line, I think, for it to work. And um, follow that through, okay? Then it takes you right up to the checkout. So score your work, make sure you have all those rights, and I trust you do well. Looks like they almost give you as many problems on the checkup as you had for your homework. <laughs> Have fun.